I'm on the plane. I'm watching Bengals Chiefs. Hamilton, poor Hamilton. He's like, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to pay attention. He's like, what happened? Because like, he dropped what? I'm freaking out because I didn't get to see all of it. And then I watched the rest of it when I got home. But this chapter was another classic. This is the game I want in January. I'm willing it. I'm praying for it and manifesting. It goes down to the wire. Chiefs pull it out at Arrowhead. Pull it off out, sure. Uh, on the Kansas City side, they have really mastered um, taking what the defense is giving them, okay, over the last two years. We knew coming in that this Bengals run defense is a weakness. You saw it last week. I hated it. Even with Mahomes back there, the Chiefs, they stayed disciplined. They kept attacking it. Here's Mahomes after the game. That's what makes us a great team, man. Like, I'll, obviously, I want the offense to be high flying and explosive. Um, but I feel like in, in years past, like, if I played like we played today offensively, we would have lost this game. And But we have a great football team. Defense stepped up, made plays. Special teams made plays. Um, and so uh, I'm excited for it. We're not even playing our best football, and we're still getting these wins against great opponents. Yep, he doesn't want to throw picks, of course. He wants more touchdowns. But Kansas City was able to get movement against the Bengals line. Play after freaking play. He's a problem, Pacheco, we know that. So efficient, so mad all the time. He took advantage, everyone did. Kansas City finished with 149 yards on the ground, a whopping 32 carries. Wow, Mahomes threw just 151 yards. That's the thing, a lot of running going on around the league here. To put it into perspective, uh, the great, greatest quarterback we're playing right now, Patrick Mahomes, he started 116 games, 116 under his belt. This was just the 10th time the Chiefs have run more than they've passed, okay? Just the 10th time of 116, and the only time they've run at a higher clip than they did yesterday was that weird Monday afternooner, the monsoon, remember, with the, against the Bills back in 2020. So huge credit to Andy and Mahomes. It is so hard to be disciplined. I call out, run the ball, why aren't you going to throw the bed of the run? They did it, and and, and this sort of, sort of versatility and the patience that it sort of takes, self-discipline is going to make it even tougher. But uh, if they're going to keep running the ball going forward, look at this. They're going to have to do it without that guy who I said was so scary, such a threat, so efficient, so mad all of the time. Breaking news, it is a fibula injury for Isaiah Pacheco. So Edwards Alaire, he's already out. That leaves him on J.P. Ryan. Um, Carson Steele, ooh, not great yesterday, as the uh, only active running backs for Kansas City right now. So Clearly, is it like violins for them? No, I think they'll be okay. If anything, anyone can get over something like this, it's the Chiefs. But it is a big deal because he's really meant a lot over the past couple of years and obviously what we've seen even just last night. Bengal side. We got Keekly coming up. We're going to dig into this one. What is PI? When should it be called? All these questions, right? Super frustrating. I don't want to get into that, though, because the Bengals could have and should have won this game, Okay. Bottom line, you can't give Kansas City a defensive touchdown and settle for four field goals and expect to beat Patrick Mahomes. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. That drop on Gusecki, that doesn't happen. Mahomes is a it, brutal mistake. The, the Jamar Chase stuff, it's hard for me to talk about this morning because I think it was all there in front of them. Um, and the reason they should have won this game, and the person I feel worse for this morning is Coach Lou. Coach Lou and Arumo, okay? Another chapter, another brilliant game plan. Like, I hope, are you seeing this, owners? Like, this is the head coach. He is the one who can somehow erase or mitigate or stifle Patrick Mahomes. Even with the run game working for Casey, and we knew that it would because it's the weakness for, for this Bengals squad, he held, he game planned this thing up. The Chiefs offense only had 19 points. That's the thing, don't let other teams score points. They might bring on some yards with the way this is looking this year right now, but don't score points. That's crazy. Hubbard doesn't look 100% Hubbard to me yet. B.J. Hill, Sheldon Rankins, they leave the game. Uh, Rankins, they leave the game mid-game with injuries. Um, when you hold Mahomes under 20 points, you expect to win, period. They were amazing on third down. They uh, loved it, threw the book at him, made it tough, and, and they couldn't cash in, and that sucked. That being said, there are positives to take away from this. Somebody tweeted me. I don't know, Kate. It just feels like the, it stuck out to me. The window is closing. It's closed. I think we missed our window. Are you joking here? If you're being just realistic, the Bengals team we saw yesterday is way closer to the best version of this team than the one we saw in week one. Okay, Zach Taylor summed it up really well after the game. Take a listen to this. 
Anytime you're going to play a team that's won three of the last four Super Bowls, it's going to be a challenge. And not everything's going to be perfect. And you got to be ready to grind out some adversity. And I thought our guys did a great job grinding out some adversity. I didn't think there was ever a time where they just had outstanding momentum. Anytime they got some momentum, I thought the other unit did a good job rising up and taking the pressure off. And so, again, I was, I was really... I'm disappointed that we lost the game, but that doesn't mean I'm disappointed with with our players and how they played and, and where we're going to go for a team uh, as we move forward. Perfectly said. And listen, the margin for error is gonzo. Okay, luckily the Ravens lost two, so they're over. This team is faced with digging out of a, a bad hole here, but all is not lost. T will be back. The offense clearly moving in the right direction. The defense was where it needs to be, even though it's a little different. There's some things to struggle with, there, but. This gave me hope, man. It did, even in a loss. That's why it's probably so frustrating. Um, they were one play away from beating the champs, even though they made a bunch of knucklehead mistakes out there, too. If they had looked the way that they did week one again, or closer to that, panic button, for sure, uh, I'd be disappointed. But I'm not giving up on them because of a one-point loss to Kansas City. Are we joking? I think we see them hit their stride next week, by the way, against Washington, who took care of the Giants. Okay, last one before we hit the break.